Algebra 1, number 2.8c, we're going to talk about simplifying multiple grouping symbols. We've talked a little bit about this in a previous video recently. Some expressions have more than one grouping symbol. They might have parentheses, they might have multiple parentheses, they might have brackets and braces, and they're all used in algebra. And when an expression has more than one grouping symbol, we start on the inside and slowly work our way outwards. Whatever is inside the innermost grouping symbol should be done first. So in this case, we would do 4 minus 2 first, then we would multiply that answer by 3, then we would multiply that one by 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, this whole thing equals 12. See? Start on the inside and slowly work our way out, okay? Let's try this one. We've got 7 inside of brackets with 8 plus 2 inside of parentheses. We do in the parentheses first. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now we've got 7 minus 10. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. That one wasn't too bad, was it? Let's try this one. We've got braces with an 8 minus brackets, 9 minus a 12 plus 5 in parentheses. First thing we do is the 12 plus 5, that's 17. Now we've got 8 minus 9 minus 17. Now we do the 9 minus 17 and get a negative 8. So now we have 8 minus negative 8. Remember, when we subtract a negative, we add the opposite. So this is going to turn into an addition sign instead of two inverse signs. So now we've got 8 plus 8, and that's 16. So this whole thing equals 16. See? We worked our way outwards. Now take a look at this. We've got 9 times 2 plus 5 times 4. Order of operations says we have to do the 9 times 2, which is 18, and then we add the 5 times 4, which is 20. 18 and 20 is 38. But if we put grouping symbols differently around the 2 and the 5 and the 4 in this one, and then around the 9 times 2 plus 5 in this one, and then around the 2 plus 5 times 4 in this one, look what we get. 2 plus 5 is 7. Now we have 9 times 7 which is 63, we multiply that by 4, we get 252. When we have 9 times 2, which is 18, and we add 5, we get 23 times 4, which is 92. When we have 2 plus a 5 times 4, multiplication first, that's 2 plus 20, we have 9 times 22, which equals 198. Look at four different answers depending on how we grouped it. So it's really important that we group them correctly, okay? Let's take a look at this one, and we solve them correctly is important. Now we have 2 times, we have 4 times 2 plus 3, and we're going to subtract 7 minus a 4 minus an 8 plus 5. So we do inside these parentheses first and get 13. Now we have 4 minus 13, that's going to give us a negative 9. Now we have 7 minus a negative 9. When you subtract a negative, you add the opposite, so we've got 7 plus 9. So now, over here we have 4 times 5. See, 2 plus 3 is 5, and that's 20. So we end up with 20 minus 7 plus 9, or 20 minus 16. That's 4. See? See how we did that? Starting on the inside. All right, let's try this last one. Now we've got this all on the left side minus this all on the right side. Wow, does that look complicated, right? It's really easy if you take it step by step. All right, so start on the inside. We've got 5 times x plus 5 times 2. See how we did distributive property? 5 times x plus 5 times 2. That got us 5x plus 10, and now we drop down the minus 3x, okay? Let's continue to work on this side, okay? Now, 5x minus 3x, we've got like sign, like terms right here. That's going to give us 2x plus the 10, okay? So now, we can stop right here. Let's go on this side. We've got 3 and a y plus 2 minus a 7 and a y minus 3. So now we're going to distribute. We've got 3y plus 6. 3y plus 6. See how I distributed that? And now we've got negative 7 times y, which gives us a negative 7y. See? And negative 7 times a negative 3 is a positive 21. So now we've got 3y plus 6 minus 7y plus 21. We've got like terms. The greens are alike. The oranges are alike. The green is 3y minus 7y. That gives us a negative 4y. And a positive 6 
plus a 21 gets us a positive 27. We drop our minus sign down in between these two brackets. Okay, so now we got our 2x plus 10 on this side minus the negative 4y plus 27 on this side. We can distribute this minus sign, this negative sign, to each thing in each term inside of these brackets. This negative times a negative 4y gives us a positive 4y, and the negative times a positive 27 gets us a negative 27. Now we can combine like terms again. We've got a plus 10 and a minus 27. That's going to give us a negative 17. So we end up with 2x plus 4y minus 17. Whew! That was quite a lot of work, wasn't it? But if you remember that we can distribute this negative sign to each one and then just change the signs inside, the minute you see this, think, okay, that's going to be a positive 4y, that's going to be a negative 27. See? All right. We're going to move on to unit 2.9, and we're going to talk about writing equations. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's 2.9, writing equations. Sorry about that. Okay, I hope I'll see you there, and if you have any trouble with any of this, just let me know, okay? I've got lots of other videos to help you, and I'll see what I can do. Bye.